you wait down, Mr. Dodds. We're having trouble over on the Texas Tornado set. What's wrong, Sammy? Well, Mr. Nitvich, the director, he thinks the actors are terrible. And what do the actors think of Nitvich? They think he's terrible, too. <laughs> Love scene. Quiet! Please! When I got to rehearse the scene between a couple of loafers, I got to have it quiet. Sammy, make it quiet. Quiet! This is the scene where the two loafers meet after years and years. Quiet! 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 At first, they do not know each other. Quiet! Sammy, you make too much noise making it quiet. Okay, Chief. Now, Chick, you are the famous bandit known as the Texas Tomato. Texas Tornado. Sammy, please. Down the street you come galloping on top of your horse. The horse gallops, you ride him. Sammy, do not split hairs. Before the doors of the saloon, you make your horse come quick to a stop, and you flap. I do what? You flap off. He means you hop off. Precisely, but suddenly. Now, Lorna, from out of the doors of the saloon, you come. What have I been doing in the saloon? What has she been doing in the saloon? What does anyone do in the saloon? Drink whiskey. That's right, you've been drinking whiskey. No, you do not drink whiskey. You've been begging your brother to come home and lift the mortgage from the ranch, and there is the Texas tomato. Tornado. Years ago, you've been loafers. Lovers. You're still loafers. You always will be loafers. One long look, and you clinch. And then we cut to a close-up of the horse smelling. What's the horse doing? Smelling. Oh, I get you. Smiling. Hey, props. One smelling horse. Now, Lola, when you come from out of the door of the saloon, do not forget. You got to have a South accent. You mean I talk like a South? He means you're from the South. A Southern accent. Oh. Yeah. Now we make a rehearsal, then we shoot him. Action! All these years. What were you doing in that saloon, gal? That's none of your business. Well, I reckon I'll have to make it my business. My business. I've been hearing about that no-count brother of yours. No bandit can criticize my brother. I should think you'd be ashamed of yourself. Stop it! Stop it! What kind of a South accent is that? I'm so sorry, Mr. Nicholas. I only talk that way when I'm nervous. And how often do you get nervous? Whenever I start to play a so, that's the kind of people you sent me, Mr. Dodds. Now, don't get excited. I'm not getting excited. Oh, she'll be all right. Oh, so she'll be swell. Stop it! Stop it, you fellas! First thing you know, you got my whole cast talking that way. Sammy! What, Mr. Nidvich? Everybody go to lunch. Lunch! <laughs> You must have been hungry. Now, come on, girls. Get busy. Take your orders to the cook. We know what everybody wants. We know the Michael book. Oh, look, girls. There's George Brent. He's sitting over there. In his latest picture, he's a hero of the air. It's called Wings of the Navy. Say, has he got lovely hair. There's Marie Wilson, as sweet as you'll find, the kind that the fellas prefer. She was the waitress in Boy Meets Girl. We all like to wait on her. There's darling Pat O'Brien, and he looks hungry, too. So tell the cook to hustle up a good old Irish stew. Be careful of the crime school, kids. You don't know what they'll start, but they're with the guy that keeps them quiet, Mr. Humphrey Bogart. Isn't that John Garfield? And the lovely Lane girls, too. I saw them in Four Daughters, and were they good? Woo woo! <laughs> we have a lovely clientele. We love our shop. In fact, we think it's swell. A waitress's life is a merry one. There's not a lot of money, but a lot of fun. We carry trays and spend our days swinging through the kitchen door. Oh, a 
waitress's life is a life of ease. You can put the rhythm in your order, please. Then truck on down and go to town, swinging through the kitchen door. There is music in the crash of plates and trays. It's a pleasure sling and hash. It's happy days. Cause a waitress's life is a merry one. Although it's not a very mercenary one. The pay is not high, but we get by swinging through the kitchen door. Bring me some pea soup. Look, I can't stop it. Did you say pea soup? Yes, same for me. <laughs> I just wait. Mr. Eddie. Thanks, Catherine. I want you to meet Bob O'Donnell, a big theater chain man from Dallas. I'm glad to know you, Catherine. It's a pleasure, Mr. O'Donnell. These young ladies are all from Dallas, winners of the trip to Hollywood contest I ran in all my theaters. They're all crazy to get in the movies. How nice. <laughs> they and 50 million others. Six girl I've tried in this part. Why is it, Sammy, they can't find me the right girl? I know what you need, Chief. A beautiful southern girl with a real southern accent. Just listen to me for a minute. Honey, I'm just dying for a chance in the movies. And your father wanted you to be a plumber. You can't all do this. That's no way to get jobs in the movies. That's the way most of them get jobs, mister. Oh, uh, Mr. O'Donnell, uh, this is our Mr. Nitvich, the great director. Why, I've played all of your pictures, Mr. Nitvich. And why not? Why, George? I wondered what studio you were working in. Jones from Dallas, too. She's been writing and telling us about all the wonderful parts she's been playing. We've never seen her in any pictures. Oh, oh why my pictures haven't been released yet. Joan, honey, why you got on that uniform? Oh, don't tell me you're waiting on table. Oh, no, no, of course not. I... Why, uh, <coughs> she's working in Boy Meets Girl in the studio restaurant sequence. But that picture's already out. We're making a series of them. That one's called, uh, Boy Meets Father. Father has a shotgun. What? Well, I'll explain that later, girl. Uh, you must excuse me now. I have a lunch with Mr. Nitvich. Yeah, they gotta talk a little business. <clears throat> Come on, girls, give me your name and addresses. Sammy. And telephone numbers. I beat you to it that time, Chief. Come on, girls, step over here. Oh, oh, so, you got a date with me. Please. Don't y'all give me away, Mr. Nitvich. I, I couldn't bear to have my friends know I lied to him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where did you get that South accent? Oh, my gosh. Have I been talking that way again? I've been working like the deuce to get rid of the darn old thing, but every time I get with home folks, it just comes back to me. Make it come back, Savoy, and this time you keep it. Sammy, Sammy, I got a discovery. Look, I think she's got something. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Go ahead. Show him. Talk like a South. So what's it all about? <laughs> Mr. Nitvich. No, no, he means down in Dixie. Oh, my goodness, why did y'all say so? Why, that goes just as natural to me. Isn't she marvelous? Sammy, I smell a star. You shall be the sweetheart of the Texas tomato. Come on, let's go try on the makeup. Did he really make a star of me? Well, there's always a chance. When he can't make them, nobody can. Come on. Let's rehearse. 
rehearse it, will you? Okay, Max, are you ready? Ready. All right, let's try it. You were perfect. Exquisite. How was I? You? Max, give me next a closer. Right. What do we say in a closer? You do not say anything. From now on, I want less talk and more dialogue. Don't I even say that I love the girl? You don't have to. You do admit a look. One look and you melt into each other's arms. We melt? Yeah, sort of run together. Do I kiss her? Do you kiss her? You are alone in the middle of a river with a beautiful girl, and you got to ask me what you should do under such circumstances? Okay, when do we eat? Sammy, he can kiss that beautiful face and get paid for it, and he still got to ask me when he shall eat. Don't give up, Chief. Let's try and get this scene before lunch. Now, the new union rule says we gotta feed our actors at 12 sharp. But Sammy is supposed to be a loafer. I know, but you gotta feed your loafers, too. Come on, let's rehearse it. Are you ready, Max? All ready. All right, let's get ready. Okay. Now, the song has just been finished. Ta -ra -ra -ra. Now you run together. Now you kiss each other. No, no, no. Can't you put your heart into it? When you have such beautiful girl in your arms, don't you feel something? Sure, I feel hungry. How do you like that guy? With a beautiful dish like that in his arms, and the guy feels hungry. Here, let me show you what I mean. Look out, Chief. There's a lot of deep holes in that river. Now, Chick, listen carefully. When you kiss her, try to imagine beautiful moose displaying. Birds are singing. Bees is buzzing like this. Did you hear the bees buzzing? Yes, indeed. You see? Sammy, am I right? No, Chief. I think he should use an entirely different technique. Uh -huh. Like this, with his hands behind her back. No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's not what I want. That's a boudoir kisser. What I need is an open air kisser, like this. Mm. You see? Well, there's a lot to be said for that method, Chief. But I still think he should grab hold of her like this. A college lollapalooza. Wait a minute! Who's directing this picture? I'm your assistant. Well, don't assist me too much! Come on, let's shoot! Have the boat moving! Roll them, Max! Very good, very good! Go ahead! Oh, excellent! Mm. Very good! Oh! Tommy! I can't spend! Well, neither can I, but you don't hear me hollering about it, do you? <laughs> Get him out! He's drowning! Oh, why did you say so? Ready? Action! Music! I am the queen of the Boulder Cantina, the toast of the Texas frontier. A straight shooting gun gal, remember I'm one gal who don't know the meaning of fear. I'm warning you now, boys, you love loco cowboys, you ain't got a chance over here. For 
For I am the queen of the border cantina, the toast of the Texas frontier. We are the chorus, the cow and the door, and they can't wait until we appear. For she is the queen of the border cantina, the toast of the Texas frontier. Champagne, you can raise up your glasses of beer and drink to the queen of the border cantina, the toast of the Texas frontier. Now, wait a minute, Chief. Look out, folks, the Texas tornado is raiding the town. Aren't you all ashamed of yourselves leaving a gal to defend you? Let them come. Stay where you all shoot. Take over, boys. I'm a warning you. Look up. Look up. Oh, Lord. Love is abandoned in disguise. It may take you by surprise. Lady, beware. Look out for love. When you're captured in its arms and enraptured in its charms, lady, beware. An evening like this is makes love seek its prey. With suffers and kisses, it steals your heart away. You must beware. beware. You must take care. Love will take you on the way. Look out for love. Others may say that you're divine. Tell them you are mine. Let it be fair. When I'm about, you better look out for Texas Tornado? No, lady. He's a Texas Tornado. I'm Captain Bob Crane of the Texas Rangers. Bob! I thought you'd never get here. Well, honey, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Love will take you on the way. Sammy! Sammy, what's holding me up? Sammy, you know I can't swim. Somebody come and get me. Quick! They say that you're divine. When you tell them you are mine, lady, beware. While 